have a look at the day we've got guys wind has died right down we're dragging the tinny in we're going snorkeling again this time we're not chasing turtles so much we're going to go find a good bit of reef and uh try to have a snorkel over the top of that so we've seen the turtles here but they were hanging around in the weedy area not a whole lot of structure there not a lot of fish life so that's what we're chasing should be good Toby out for a bit of a uh, squid mission, and uh, if you can't tell already, <laughs> we got one in the back. <laughs> it absolutely smashed us. Anyway, that's good because um, we've caught three so far and uh, lost them all at the boat. So it's good to get one in, even though it's a mess. Let's get some more. Alright, things were going good. We got another squid. But then uh, it got a little bit wild. Not in the good way. Snap the rosh. <laughs> oh, we got a snag and it was well and truly stuck. I just kept reefing it after dropping the boat back up to it. Cheap rod. Oh, Toby's on. Yep. No. Yep, yep. Well, I think that's our boating done. <laughs> I was hoping to get out again today. It's our last day here, last full day anyway. We've got one more night. And unfortunately that rain's come over, but um, we'll try to make the most of it still. We're gonna jump in the car. I'm just having a bit of brekkie now, but after that we'll jump in the car and uh, go to the sand dunes. Uh, it should be really easy driving today, obviously, all uh, hard packed from the rain, but um, there is an old whaling station out there. So we'll go for it a little explore, see what we can find. Hopefully by the time we come back, it, um, the rain's passed, maybe we can get out in the tinny again. We'll see how we go.
bit in here actually. Mm. Mainly heaps of uh, big vats or, yeah, or trucks or something. Holding tanks, something like that. They're yeah. massive. But um, yeah, the foundations, that's about it. Really intrigued to know what this looks like. Yeah, it's definitely got a bit of a sad vibe about it. Or whales. Well, <laughs> yeah, like I was just saying there and before, the amount of whales I saw on the boat the other day out there and how close they get to you and they're not scared. They they're not fast either, so like it would have been pretty easy. They would have caught so many here just be dragging them in one by one. Insane yeah. that that was a thing that used to happen. Here we go guys, we're back in Exmouth. Um, pretty excited to be back here to be honest with you. We didn't, well, like we said, we didn't stay in town last time. We um, stayed all around the National Park and, and in uh, Yardi Homestead. So really excited to be in town now. Check out a few of the beaches, a few of the other attractions that uh, Exmouth has, the off has to offer rather. And um, the breweries. So we'll go back to Whalebone and there's another brewery in town called Froth. So really keen to check those out and uh, just get a few things done while we're here. Bit of a tidy up after being on the beach for so long, but um, yeah, excited, let's get in there. So while we're in Exmouth, we're staying at RAC Caravan Park. I tell you what, it's a bloody good caravan park. It is. Big, flash. Uh, Flat sites. All good amenities, but the hardest ground I've ever put pegs into. <laughs> it took him probably like a good hour. Incredible. To figure out how to get the pegs in there. Anyway, the best thing about this place is you get your own barista per site. <laughs> <laughs> they deliver you morning coffees. Nah, look, um, Chelsea's been making us coffees in the morning and it's been incredible. It's like, how's that for service? She drops them over in the morning for us and <laughs> takes our cups at night. <laughs> so thanks, Chelsea. Yeah, thanks, Chelsea. <laughs> oh, and the kids got hot chockies. Oh, yeah, too. she's been bringing the kids hot chocolates. Hey, how have the hot chockies been? Yummy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we spent the last two days catching up on schoolwork. It's been absolutely bloody horrible. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Yeah, so, so bad. a little bit of a, a review on Yuka. Yuka is really good. It's a great system for homeschooling. Yes, but we are. We rely... are really enjoying it at yeah. the moment. Yeah. But you, you heavily rely on the internet. If you don't have internet, like we hadn't for the last two weeks, mm. we pretty much couldn't do anything. Uh, we tried to screenshot lessons, but there's still videos they've got to watch and stuff like that. So. Look, we smashed it out over the last couple of days. Um, haven't really done much because of that. So we earned, we've earned a beer, haven't we? We have. So uh, best thing about Exmouth, everything is within walking distance pretty much. So, or well, from the RAC that we're staying at anyway. So we're gonna walk down, we are walking down to Froth. Uh, we haven't been to this one yet, so pretty excited. I'm gonna have a few beers, have a bit Lunch. of a feed. And uh, yeah, we've earned it and we got our tax back, so we've got money now. <laughs> <laughs> so, watch us blow it all at all the breweries down yep. the uh, west coast. <laughs> As we do. <laughs> anyway, we'll show you this joint when we get there. A 
Calamari's episode. So that was quick as. That was so quick. And I've already snuck some calamari in. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Tuck in. So we've come for a drive this morning about 15 minutes out of Exmouth to check out the SS Mildura. So it's a shipwreck that happened, if I quickly look at the sign. <laughs> 1907. Uh, there we go, 1907. Uh, it's still quite a, lot of, uh, quite a lot of it here, which is pretty incredible really. Mm. Uh, apparently at low tide you can walk out to it, but we've missed that by about an hour, so it must come in pretty quick here at the point. But uh, it's still pretty cool to look at. Hey, so we're standing here right next to the VLF as well. So you've got shipwreck on one side and that VLF, which is the very low frequency communication towers for naval operations. I can't remember exactly what it is. <laughs> but um, anyway, help us settle an argument here. It says that the Tower Zero, the middle one, is bigger than the Empire State Building, the Eiffel Tower, and the Sydney Tower, as in the Centre Point Tower. Now, Aaron reckons it is. But I think, I know, I think looking at it, it's been dismantled and I don't think it's that tall. That's just my opinion. Someone let us know. Is it actually that tall? What does it say here? Tower Zero, 387 metres. I don't think it is anymore, but let us know in the comments. But it doesn't say anything about it being dismantled, so surely it would say like it was that and it's not now. I know, but it just doesn't look that tall. Maybe it's because it's not like building size, it doesn't look that ominous. I don't know. Anyway, settle this one for us before we get um, a divorce <laughs> arguing over it. <laughs> so while the weather's good, the wind's dropped right off for the first time in what feels like a really long time. Three weeks, I reckon. Um, we've decided to come down to Town Beach. So we're meeting our friends Bryce and Chelsea down here. We're gonna have a bit of a swim before we head to the pub this afternoon. It looks bloody beautiful. Mm, it and does look amazing. It's a hard beach. You don't have to worry about tires or anything. Yeah, so you can full just drive down here and park up for the day and yeah, chill out. So that's what we'll be doing. Every day is a win. Since I was told that you don't want me. Maybe you're just cold and you know I try to hold on to it as do you move. So we've just come back from the beach. We've got some visitors on our campsite. Met them all past. Hello, mate. G'day, buddy. So for the first couple of days that we were here, we didn't see any, but these two have been hanging around every day, hey, yeah, for the last must, few days. Must be like mother and daughter or father and son or... Yeah, but they're just trying to get into everything. Oh, the dog. They're eyeing off some dogs at the minute. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, so Alex and Aaron are tucking into their dinner. <laughs> but no, how, how is it guys? What is it like? It's delicious, thank you Bryce. I love your interview skills. <laughs> Alright,
right, so update on the bash plate on the car. Um, I rang up Ford, had to book it in for a service anyway, but the closest Ford to us is Geraldton. I nearly forgot where it was. I nearly said Carnarvon, but yeah, Gero. So it's quite a while until we get there. Well, I say quite a while, a few weeks at least. So um, they've got to look at it before they even know if it's warranty. And then we have to go from there. So no doubt we'll be out of Geraldton by the time they figure out what they can do. And we'll have to get it sorted in Perth. So for now, I just went to the Mitre 10 here in Exmouth, got some uh, little bit of flat bar, and I just screwed them in with some tech screws just to strengthen it back up. Because it's just, it's crashing around, isn't it, babe? So noisy. <laughs> like, uh, especially on the roads around uh, Ningaloo and all the dirt roads. Like, you hear us coming from a mile away. <laughs> It's so embarrassing. So I've done that. Hopefully that stops the rattling for now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get it sorted out. Hey, so I've brought the kids out to have a little look around town. And I tell you what, Exmouth is set up well. Got heaps of stuff for families, kids in particular. You've got the parks, you've got this asphalt pump track, you've got the dirt pump track next to it. You've got playgrounds, skate parks. I probably already said playgrounds, I think. Anyway, this joint's cool. It's set up really well. Um, Chelsea let me Bryce's electric skateboard this morning and well I'm having a go but it's a little bit of a struggle I, um, I've never been a skateboarder I can ride pushies that's all good but yeah I spend more time on my ass than uh, on the board itself normally but I haven't come off yet but it's good fun so we're just gonna rip around town and uh, have, a, have a bit of a look around Sick. Oh, get the wobbles up though. <laughs> 